Here comes the last one. Hey boys, get last last one. one. Let's go. Ah, let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, you waited your turn. I'll make you. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. We got a dig right here. We got a dig. Oh, oh, that's that. big house in Georgia. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey. Bruce next, best in the world. Hope I can get this sponsor. It's day two, bro. We get another buzz. Like you said, man, day two. Let's go. Yeah. Every year at the Elite 11 Finals, we want to expose the quarterbacks to the best on-field instruction, classroom instruction from our coaching staff, but also off-the-field experiences. Oh Yoga has been a huge part of the Elite 11 curriculum going back now at least the last six or seven years. This feels like a dryer up in here, bro. Like. I'm about to be cooking for an hour. I'm already sweating, bro. On a scale of one to 100, 101. <laughs> so this room is 110 degrees. Yeah. We're probably going to get with your bodies to about 114, 115. And we are at 40 to 50% humidity. So let's get started. The whole goal of hot yoga is not just to stress the players' bodies and minds, but to see if they can connect to their body and mind. I've never been this hot in my life. I don't think I have. Woo! That was great. She had no mercy. She was like, I, I know it's your first time, but I ain't open no windows. Y'all going to suffer. I was like, damn, OK. Right after the yoga session, we made our way down to the ocean. You know, Yobi said that we're all going to go in the ocean walking arms. And everyone kind of looked at each other, just like, are we really doing this? Walk it in. Do not break links. You are being evaluated. You know, the waves are coming. And they weren't slowing down for us, but some of the guys wanted to go deeper than the other guys. I think we just got too deep. <laughs> you know, ultimately, we all had a good time. You know, you got Cade falling in the water at the end. And, you know, by the time everything was done, we were walking out. Everyone just had huge smiles on their face. For the rest of your football lives, this is going to be the class of 2021. Yes, sir! We hate those waves. That's how you treat them. hate those waves, baby. The biggest hit of my high school career is a wave. <laughs> oh, my God. It felt great, though. My God, hey, LA man. water. Woo! Everybody out here is very fortunate. You know, it's like 0.2%. It's right here. No, 0.02. Yeah. My bad. 0.02. This is the percentage right here. Oh, shit. So if you didn't do nothing, you did something. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. I guess if I was like planning on being <laughs> I'd say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Quincy. Short man syndrome. Oh, hey, fellas, hey, QBs. This is pro day workout. It's been going on for a long time around here. It's a series of throws. Biggest thing as we evaluate everything is are you paying attention to the throw? And can you in your brain catalog the throws that you have to make? So we don't have to tell you the throw every single time you get to the center. The pro day consists of 20 scripted throws, and each throw is scored zero through three. Three is an absolute dime, finishes on the face mask. At the three, customer service. Two is a very catchable ball where it needs to be for the receiver to make a play. There you go, let's go. A one is a generally off target throw, but still strong enough to be a completion. Oh, good catch. So with 20 throws and the max score of three per throw, the maximum score for the pro day competition is a 60. Ooh, the customer service. We'll see the alpha male kind of emerge tonight. And hopefully there's more than one of them. Um, but I'm going to take uh, Kate Klubnik tonight. Based on what I've seen yesterday, Alar is my pick. And then I got Swan. But the sleep, oh! Malik Murphy, spinning it yesterday. Can't wait. Can't wait. I'm really interested to see how Quinn does. I want to see him be really consistent with his feet, make all the throws. They're all destined to be great high school quarterbacks. But what does it take to be the man when they get to college and eventually get a chance to play in the NFL? Uh oh, he's coming out of the hoodie. Ah! He's coming out of the hoodie. It's like taking his cape off. This is a nice, easy slant to kick off the party tonight. Hey! Rip it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Nice. Nice. Quinn Ewers starting off first in the pro day competition. Sometimes that can be a disadvantage as it relates to still just really knowing all the routes and more so even the receivers they're working with, knowing where they're supposed to be. Let's go. Looking forward to see how he performs in this spotlight. 
Let's get it moving now. How about a little tempo today, baby? All the other 19 quarterbacks watching him, they've all heard the stories about his arm talent. And really for all these guys and all of our coaches at the same time, it'll be the one chance they all get to watch Quinn perform. And then really a chance for him to showcase that unique arm talent that he has, the ability to make throws off platforms from different arm angles and different footing and that sort of stuff within his drops and on the move. Now he's got the conflict climb, deep pylon. Let's go. Oh, yeah, brother. As the sun sets in Southern California, man. I like it. I like it. We're back, baby. We're back, baby. We're here to 45 now. We got a dig on the right. Let's go 18. It's honestly a once in a lifetime experience. Like most guys don't feel what the pressure of that's like until you do your actual pro day. So for them to get that experience for us to see how they handle it, there's a mental component, there's a physical component, and you know, you get to see guys pass. It's honestly one of the most dynamic drills you could do. And so it's cool to see these kids do that at 18 years old. He's not just playing catch, folks. He's coming back, though. He's coming back. All right, now we got the bubble rail shot. Hey, 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 it's other side. We're going to do our action, throw the ball. Ooh, good. I like it. I like it, man. We got an RPO swing. I like the pro day because there's a top number that they can get to, and we want to see how they measure up to the level of perfection. How do they compete? If they know they're down, how do they react? So getting a chance to see them kind of in live competition. Let's go. Cover four, cover two, what you got? That's the way to rip, dude. He really had a chance to set the bar and then have other quarterbacks use that as their aiming point moving forward. We got the back line. I need this ball up and down. Let's go. Come on back to the granddaddy. Oh, nice catch. Oh, nice throw. And the big house. And let's move it, baby. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. What you say? Quinn came out fast. A 42 is an excellent score. Anything over a 40 is really a strong score in this Pro Day competition. The all-time high in the competition was set uh, at the 2019 Elite 11 Finals with C.J. Stroud hitting a 50. Oh the bar's been set. Quinn's the early leader in the clubhouse, but excited to see how the rest of these quarterbacks do in terms of chasing down that 42 and, and potentially even topping it. Mr. Brown, let's get this money. Let's go do it, big guy. Let's go do it. Come on now, brought to you by the University of Miami. When we put these guys through these throws, it's to put them through the real life throws that they're going to have to make at the next level, at the NFL level. This is really what separates the men from the boys. Oh, oh we got over. Let's go. We got over. Let's go. AJ, let's dial it up. Two chains. Two chains. AJ, that's really good forward. That's really good forward. Oh, good court. Oh, yeah. We need him. Over. Let's go. Flat. Woo. Malik Murphy was a quarterback who came out and really had a strong first night at like the Elite the 11. And like as he's going through the Pro Day competition, you see the arm talent again. It's evident he's one of the biggest, strongest pocket passers in this year's class. Maybe not as consistent as he hoped to be. We know he came in taking this very seriously and, and prepared the best he could. You know, is he happy with his performance? I think he'd only be happy if he was in first place, but we saw the flashes of talent tonight that have a lot of people excited about Malik Murphy's future. Nice job, Malik Murphy. Nice. Nice job, Gavs. Nice ball, nice ball, nice ball. Ball me, baby. You know what? We're entering clinic mode. We're entering clinic mode. RPO, give me the RPO, bro. Nice ball, man. Nice. Oh, I love it when the ball just shows. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, George. Hello. Oh, my God. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Nice job, man. I like the focus. The customer service. Hey, great run. Great run. Great run. Nice run. Nice run, baby. Hey, that looked good, man. That looked good. That is quick action, huh? That's nice. Nice nice sir. Sir. Look at the brotherhood here. Look at the brotherhood here at the I think now we've got to see can the guys stay focused? Can they step up? It's crunch time now. Some guys have had great rounds, and now can these guys keep up the juice? Oh, did you need that ball? I don't think so, brother. Let's finish, man. Let's finish. Hey, we got a big one right now. Right out of Tennessee. Luther Richardson was a sleeper coming into the Elite 11 Finals for most of the country. Biggest things that you saw from him tonight were preparation and consistent accuracy, repeatable mechanics. You know, I think with his showing tonight, he proved to the outsiders that he deserves to be here and has a great chance now to take home the title in the Pro Day competition. I've seen it from a Devin once. 
I saw it twice! We saw it twice! That's what you do when you're in your home state, baby. Let's go! Five steps up here. Wink. Little poise. Little poise. Little poise. Came out here, had to get warm. Had to wait a little while, but you know, came out here. Just had fun. Just threw it around a little bit. Oh, nice hit. We just had Nate Johnson, so what we just saw from him was a ton of energy, a ton of juice. The ball jumped out of his hand, a little up and down, made some good throws, made some bad throws. Can't wait to see what he does for the rest of the week. Let's go. I'll tell you what, man, Mr. Wegman came to play. Came in, the staff loved him, and what I love about him is he sat for the last two hours, watched counselors rip, watched his peers rip, and knew the standard was high. What did he do? He not only met it, he might have. He might have surpassed it. Nice. Get the ball out, bro. Oh, get it out, man. Get it out. Yeah, you know it's late out here. Coming from my cone. They've been, they've been, they've been sitting out here for a little bit. You know, we're just, we're just watching them sling it. You know. He got the lead right now. They're doing great. He got the I lead do right not now. have the lead, man. I did for a little bit, I'm but I don't I'm anymore. Rooting, I'm rooting for every quarterback out here. There goes the back line. Ball. Oh yeah. Oh, filthy. Oh. TV country, those Let's guys go. are doing good work. Good job, man. Set yourself an attack. Oh, I like it, man. Dude's active. Dude is active. Nice, nice, nice. Fuck looks like, man, quiet down with all that Michigan State talk. Clearly one of the top guys in the country. I love it. Cade Klubnick, and to me, really impressive. Not only making the final throw, but as he went, find a little bit of success amid some of that adversity. And that is really what the Elite 11 is all about. Every one of these guys comes in so hyped up. How do they deal tonight with the lights? He do wait all day long no, no, and he no, finished no, extremely listen, well. I, you know what I just did This right is now. why I'm so excited about this I game. just freaking learned how to deal with pressure and anxiety this morning. I learned mind control, breathing. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I built the, uh, the play action, man. Yeah. Yeah. Great catch! Great catch! Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Beat it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Long handoff, baby. Long hand it's off. good. Started off a little bit slow, you know, just trying to get a rhythm, but you know, towards the end, started to build some and then finished through. So I'm happy. Here comes the last one. Boys, get last, last one. Quarter, Let's, Let's go. go. Ah, Let's go. Come on, baby. You waited your turn. I'll make you. Happy. Yo, here we go. Here we go. We got a dig right here. We got a dig. Oh, At the big house. Georgia. Oh. Kate and House are from St. John Bosco. And tonight in the pro day, and his ability to pierce the ball downfield, make the, the deeper and, and uh, intermediate throws look easy. We saw that all night from Kate and Hauser in, in terms of putting up a 48. That was on the strength of a lot of dime balls. Look at that. Right. Look at that. You can see the confidence building in Kate. And every time he, he walks onto the field with this group of quarterbacks, guy that just continues to build, and, and it gets more and more confident every time he steps on the field. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty good. Hey! We just warmed up together. I mean, we're boys, right? He's so good. I gotta, we gotta do a throw off now, so. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So for the first time ever at the Pro Day competition, Elite 11 Finals, we had a tie. Okay! Coming out of Nashville in one count. Coming out of SoCal in the other. So we got our throw off, okay? We're gonna go three throws from the script. We got three throws, let's go. Competition out of Tennessee, man. Woo! That's a good shot. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. Okay, come on up. Here we go, bro. Got it everything situated beautifully. Do it for Winterfell. Oh, okay, Luther with the win. 1-0 Luther, 1-0 Luther. Touch. Go ahead, represent the state, Luther. Represent the state. Hey, it can be beat. That was a little inside. It can be beat, it definitely can be beat. 
sudden. Oh my All right, call it. Luther, congratulations, man. Bring it up, quarterbacks. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Hey, hey, come on, baby. The result that we saw, I think it was the validation that Luther Richardson was looking for coming into this Elite 11 competition, an opportunity to stand out amongst the group of 20 quarterbacks and prove that he deserved to be there. I think his pro day performance tonight showed that. It was a lot of fun. I've never seen that on the documentary before. I've never seen a shootout. I don't know if that's the first one or not, but it was cool to be a part of it. And, you know, this is just childhood dreams coming true. So it's really fun to live it out. I say Elite, you got 11. Elite, 11, Elite, 11, Elite. 11. Elite. 11.